Yo, what's up, dudes? Yes, year nine of Siege is here. I've been playing this game for nine whole years, and I'm still here. Anywho, year nine's looking pretty good. So let's kind of go over everything, including the new season and the overall roadmap. Easter egg, I'm currently doing this with no pants on, and if you watch it to the very end, you might just get lucky. So let's start with the roadmap. Season one, Deimos, shield mechanic, attachment ADSs, and the locker. Again, we're gonna talk about it more, but yeah, allegedly some better anti-cheat stuff. So we'll see, we'll see. And I'm just saying, I'm, I've heard about some cheaters in TS. So LMG update, a zombie update, step in the right direction. Repel improvement, improved gadget pickup, trajectory pre-visualization, big word, more AI stuff. The hunt died for this. Season two. So this is this is the realm of the unknown at this point. The recruit remaster. If that means we can finally play recruit and ranked and like customs, that's kind of cool. But I mean, it's got they they got it right. They got to at that point. Reputation system, eh? Siege marketplace. Ooh. So apparently, they're gonna start throwing mousetrap like like Zim Zim users on Xbox, PlayStation, in the PC lobby. Imagine some little like little fucking twelve year old just asked his mom for like a what do they call him a cronus or something or a zim for christmas he finally gets it he's excited and he starts dogging on his friends and ranked and then bam mousetrap bam guess what buddy you're in a goddamn lobby with bolo now you little shit and your update solace update so apparently a little bit of not rework but you know a little update which i like solace i think is needed at fenrir could definitely use it i mean not like a crazy thing. Drone jump pre-visualization. Okay, that's, I feel like trajectory is okay. You know, whatever, sure. It's more like a mobile game now, but I don't know if you need your jump to do that. And more AI. New op next season, season three. So our first new op after the recruit from, what is that? Is that Finland or is that Greece? You're gonna be talking shit about Americans now, huh? Whatever. Shooting range access during matchmaking. Oh, Siege Cup. I don't know what that. Oh, that's like the that's like league play, right? Call of Duty league play. Sorry, I went out of order. Badges and career. Solus update part two. I didn't know there's a part two to it. Doka B update. I like. Doka's kind of crazy. Probably he's gonna need more than whatever they're gonna do, but it's a start. Gadgets pre visualization custom one v one preset. What is it like an, if you have an Osa shield, if you have it in your hand, it's just gonna show it in front like a, like a little silhouette. What's the point of that? American, American operator, hell yeah. Console to PC option and crossplay. Okay, that's cool. Okay, I like that. Match cancellation 2.0, automatic cheater kick. I did see that, that's also pretty cool. Basically, if, if you get a cheater detected in your game, bam, instantly cancels onto the next. Cool system, but you gotta detect the cheaters first. All right, this whole this whole AI stuff. Yes, T Hunt is significantly better, ten times better than what we have right now. From what I've heard, is that T Hunt and AI like they're they're two different like NPCs, right? And two two different bots, and they can't like work together. You can't have both. And I'm sure Siege, you know, AI, everything. They were like, okay, guys, we gotta make an AI playlist, so we have to curb T Hunt. But by the time season four hits. By the time year nine is done, if that AI playlist is not good, is not decent, I'm giving up all hope. Because if they took away my T hunt, like I'll give it a year, I'll give it a year. T hunt is still superior, vastly superior. I'm pissed. But overall, honestly, like the whole mousetrap stuff, the operator updates, it's looking kind of nice. Not paid, by the way, guys. Can you believe it? Not paid. I am open to it, Ubi. I've already played a little bit, okay? And granted, these designer notes were from February. It's a couple days before the new season. So I'm just preparing you guys, okay? I'm letting you guys know how things are to get ready because I'm I'm a cool PC guy, right? I get to play the test server. So for all you console boys out there, y'all are y'all are in the dark. Okay, Deimos. He's a cool looking guy with the pistol. AK, Nomad's AK, smoke shotgun, and that Fody foe with frags, heart breach, and he has smokes and a tutu. Okay, so I think a lot of people think, or at least at first glance, thought Deimos was overpowered. Now people are gonna ban Deimos instead of Jackal, and I can play Jackal. Wrong. Deimos is actually not that good. He's got a cool gun. He's a unique operator, I should say. I like his 44. It's kind of like, the way I see it is like, if you guys remember Wind Bastion, 
uh, Cade Nomad Season, whenever that pistol came out with the scope, that pistol was pretty good. It's very similar to this gun. That's how I see it. But really, he's very, honestly, he's very mid. The only, like competitively, the only way I would see him utilize is like against the Solus. Like if he, it's really good against the Solus and that would really be it. Jackal is just straight up better in like every way. Like teammates can see Jackal's pings. They can't see Deimos. As Deimos tracks, for example, you see Solus on the board. Track Solus. You see Solus and only you. Solus can also see you. Granted, it's more of like a Solus will see Deimos at like a jackal ping, whereas Deimos will see Solus like a grim, like literally nonstop pinging. So it's really good for like the one, the one to one fight. But at the end of the day, it's not not that good of an operator. Like it really is. He's a he's a he's a unique operator. He's cool, but not strong. And another thing to mention, you can literally only use his pistol. When you when you're tracking somebody so even in the in the concept of like oh i'll go below the soft floor and track somebody and i'll shotgun them. see that would be kind of that would make them stronger but you literally have six bullets on a 44. right hand on the pistol left hand on the bible praying that you don't hit beam new shield mechanic so basically how it works now listen guys i'm not the best person to come to advice for shields but there is this new system where you have a shield and you can Free look. I don't know if you guys have seen it. And you get to bash them. So it's not instead of a knife, you know, like if you if you're blitz and you smack somebody, they basically die or you down them. Now you bash them and they fall to the ground. And then I think you have to bash them again to kill them or down them. Or you just pull your pistol out. I like the shield change. I hate shields in general. I hated them even more so before. So attachment and ADS upgrade. What do they say? It's like you you don't know you're in the good times until you've left them. Ladies and gentlemen, we are leaving some good times. The ADSs and the attachments, it's a bit jarring. Playing the test server and then going back to the live build, it feels like a different game. It is so much slower now. Granted, you know, you have things at your disposal to try to help you, right? But like, you're just so much slower. Hip fire to ADSing has been increased. The time has been increased, especially when you're sprinting and going to ADS. And they added a grip and they changed the angle grip. The new grip, horizontal grip, increases operating movement speed. I honestly haven't tried it too much. I think there might be some guns that might be worth it. I've seen some people run DMR horizontal grip just because it's like, it's you know, it's a single shot, so it might as well move faster. I haven't experimented with too much. Food for thought. Reduce the control recoil to 20% down from 25. Okay, so they technically nerfed the vertical grip, right? Uh, angle grip has been changed to have a bonus 20% reload speed increase. Another thing is just with a lot of these changes and we'll get into some of the sites as well i have not even tried running the angle grip on a lot of guns just because it's like i would like i'd rather have the recoil especially especially with the new sites mainly the acog kind of like it i actually do like the whole grip system now like literally every grip has a function previously angle grip was literally useless it was fucking useless so laser sights now increases your ads speed i think for the most part Every gun I'm running now has a laser sight. And I feel like that's the meta. I feel like majority of people are gonna have, AD, uh, have lasers on their gun. Now, the big hot topic. 1.5X is now a 2.5X. 2X is now a 3.5. A 3X is now a 3.5. Which I actually, even in the beginning of like this whole, I don't even know what I would call this era of Siege. The past like couple years, whenever the 1.5 came out. I've always been a fan of like polar polar opposites. Like the 1.5 was too much of an in-between. Yes, the 1.5 is great. It's a cool side. I loved it, but it was too perfect. Now it's either you get a scope or you get a sight. I know some of you might not like it, right? But I, I like it. I enjoy it. You literally have to make a decision. You can't have both. But for the 1.5 diehards, it's still there. It's just, you know, zoomed in more and it's thicker. It's just an ACOG now. Old Ash ACOG. Ye old Ash ACOG. Oh boy. Just saying the recoil is not what it used to be, so it's a little bit a little bit different now. But yeah. Air protection, ring restriction. I haven't experienced this one yet, so. Okay, so I think this is the kind of help because a lot of cheaters literally like have what three ops or unless it's unless it's a it's a hacked account, which I feel like a lot are, but okay. More cheating behavior, okay. A locker, quality of life. No real opinion on that. The Azami Kiba Barrier. So according to my understanding, I can pull up the actual designer notes. They have 90, 999 HP, 
vulnerable to bullet damage so you can finally shoot a zombie barriers thank god it only took two years it took them two years to touch a zombie which is fucking mind-boggling how the fuck do you go this long without touching a zombie one of the literal most broken operators in the game lmg weapon class update overall reduction in the recoil 10 percent movement penalty this is this is i feel like how lmg should have always been but they also reduce the recoil. I'm I'm trying to figure out if we're going back into an LMG meta. It's a little bit hard to say. Finca's LMG is crazy. And if you remember the LMG days, that was insane. So I, I'm unsure. But I'll, honestly, a lot of the LMGs are really good right now. I would suggest trying them. Finca's is literally crazy. Zofia's is probably crazy. And everybody else's is probably pretty damn good. So player comfort, barrel improve, or no, barrel improvement. My bad. I'm, fuck, I'm fucking stupid. Repel improvements. This is probably my favorite thing of this new patch. It is so nice. It is clean. I'm flabbergasted this hasn't been in the game before because it's such a nice little ass thing. Shout out whoever was like, yo, let's make it easier. It's so nice. Thank you. I don't know how I feel about this. Basically, trajectory on your grenades, your nitro cells, your, you know, throwing a Fenrir, throwing an alibi clone, whatever it may be. If it leaves your hand it's got a line going to it i think it's mainly good for like defenders honestly like just nitro nitro lineups is probably the best way i would see it you know sometimes like flashes or nades it helps out a little bit but i don't like it that much i think it removes the ceiling like the, the skill ceiling because it's like you if you ever watch pro league you'll see like some crazy lineup with a nitro like sits in it's similar to csgo you sit in this corner you look up you look at this dot you pull your nitro and then you move three steps and then you throw it Whereas now it's like, make sure your line goes over and then you let it go. Very mobile game-like. And, you know, there is a Rainbow Six mobile game, so maybe that's where they got it from. So. Red dot C, middle dot increase. Hollow A, middle dot increase. Hollow B, middle dot reduce. I mean, the hollow A, a lot of people are like freaking out. I think we might have made a video about it too. It's not that bad. Not that bad. I think they just made it so that people would run more sites other than the same damn site when there's like, 13 other sites in the game which i honestly agree with it i think it's a good thing i'm probably gonna be running a lot of reflex c reflex c is the go-to you if you like the hollow you'll still run it if you don't maybe it just gives you an incentive to go so wait what flashbang customization feature allows players to select the type of visual and audio effect applied when the player is blinded by a flashbang or other blinding device what the fuck is that Anywho, guys, a lot of this, you know, especially year nine, season one, I've actually been, I've already had my hands on it quite a little bit, um, just experimenting and seeing what's up. The only thing I don't too, know too well is just the shield thing, because, you know, your boy Bo ain't, you know, ain't a pussy ass bitch hiding behind a shield, okay? I don't fuck with that. I like the 1x, the 2.5x. I like the, I love the repel thing. Shield thing is good. Deimos, they didn't release a completely broken operator, so I guess that is good. Yeah, you know what? Good. It took them two years to nerf a zombie. It'll probably take them two weeks to make Deimos, like, I don't know, give them a rocket launcher or something to make sure people buy them. This is a good season. I'm enjoying it so far. I'm not too much of a fan on the ADS thing, you know? Open to being influenced, but I don't think I will be. Year 9 season 1? Good. Year 9? We'll see. Other than that, guys, thank you for watching. Hope you're excited for year nine. Let me know your thoughts on the new season, Deimos, the, the ACOGs. You know, I know you're excited to see Ash on A Ash on ACOG. Bo on Ash with ACOG. I know you are. Don't try to fucking hide it. So say something in the, in the comments about it, okay? Remember, hey, if you guys have Twitch Prime, <clears throat> twitch.tv slash bolo, free bow charm, in case you don't have it. You know, which I'm sure every you know self-respecting viewer i would have it by now god damn it bye